Well, hey friends, welcome back and welcome if you're new. I'm so happy that you are here tuning in for this video today. I am going to be bringing you along as we do just some fun things this weekend. I am so thankful for your response to my last video. If you didn't see it, I'll go ahead and post it up here. You can watch that when this one is finished but it was really just sharing kind of an update and where I'm at and some different things about a health journey that I'm on and the response and the comments and I even got emails and some of y'all sent me messages over on Instagram was just huge and just so sweet and a lot of you shared um, your story and it was really neat to connect with y'all just on that level. It just meant so much to me. Later we have a furniture pickup. I found, this is just like such a hobby to me. I found something on Facebook Marketplace that I'd been looking for and really honestly been looking for for a very long time and had almost kind of given up on the hunt and I found it. So I jumped on it. I also have a recipe that I'm gonna share with y'all. It is a BLT pasta salad and it's incredible. So I'm so excited for that and we're just gonna see what happens along the way. So thanks for tuning in and for being here. It would mean the world if you would consider subscribing and joining my YouTube family. Okay friends, let's go ahead and just see what the weekend brings. If you're following along on Instagram, you saw a little bit of behind the scenes, but we are puppy sitting this weekend and it is just so fun. We actually had her for about five days and her name was Data and she is a red golden retriever puppy. She's five months old and we just had a blast with her. So we're kicking off the weekend with a lemonade stand. This was something the kids have been wanting to do this summer and it was just the perfect hot Saturday and so we decided just to go for it and they honestly just had such a blast. It was so cute. The kids are having so much fun with their lemonade stand. We use that True Lemon lemonade, by the way. It's a mix. We love it. It has no artificial like sugars or sweeteners or flavors or anything. It really is just like lemon. And then we add some sliced lemon and obviously water and ice and it's so delicious. Um, but, the kids were originally going to park out at the, I think one of them just came in, <laughs> park out at the front of our driveway, but we're on a cul-de-sac and we just really don't get a lot of foot traffic. So Chad had the great idea since we're on a golf course to go to the side yard and set up camp there. And about 15 minutes in, we hadn't seen anybody and everyone was hot and they were kind of wanting to give up. And we were like, let's just stick it out for like five more minutes and still hadn't gotten anything. So we were literally about to pack up and this sweet older gentleman came. He actually works for the golf course and Chad and I were like, oh no, we're probably like, he's probably going to tell us we can't do this because they do actually have um, employees go around and like sell drinks. So we thought, well, this is where we get canned and it was the total opposite. He was so sweet. He obviously had to have had kids or grandkids, um, but he was just chatting it up with the kids. He gave them way more money than they were asking for a cup of lemonade and then proceeded to go down the way and tell other golfers about it and bring traffic to the kids. And they're making bank. It's so crazy. They're having a fun time. Kind of what you guys made. So we took out cost of goods, which um, was paying for the lemonade and the lemons, right? Your labor, you're, you're just gonna pay yourselves for that. So here's what we've got. We have five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 $19 split three ways. Wow, good job guys. Awesome. 
this is the real and the raw. I am dripping, visibly dripping in sweat. So there's good news though. <laughs> We've secured the goods. The van is full. We went to the sweet town. It's like gorgeous. Like every property has land and the homes are just beautiful. So beautiful. Um, this is actually the town that we went house hunting in and we're planning to move to before God kind of directed us differently. And we ended up where we landed, which we're so happy. Like we absolutely love where we live, but it was like a sweet drive here because it's about 40 minutes away from where we live now. And, um, we were just going down the same roads. And I think I even saw one of the houses we ended up putting an offer in on and lost, but it you know, house hunting. We were house hunting when the market was just absolutely hot and it was just lots of highs and lows and it felt like a roller coaster ride. But ultimately, you know, there was a plan. God had a plan for us and we ended up where we ended up for so many different reasons and we're so glad we're there. But all that to say, it was just really cool to come back here. And um, so this lady is super sweet. She and her daughter live here and she is moving to a different town they found a home with a pool but this home is gorgeous huge like 70 maybe 80 percent of it is restoration hardware like very nice expensive taste and they're on like four acres and have a pond and it's so beautiful um, but she's selling a bunch of stuff that she didn't even have listed on marketplace so what's in my car one of the things was listed but we got a desk and a chair that she hadn't listened. She was like, I'll just walk you through the home. And if there's anything you want, just let me know. Well, of course, I don't have like an endless budget. I would have taken way more if I had the opportunity to, um, but we got some good things. So I'll show you when we're back in the house and just like way less sweaty and cooled off for sure. Um, she wasn't able to help lift. And so Chad and I were doing all of it and we carried this huge chaise from upstairs and it was a lot <laughs> but we made it well hello from my front porch that desperately needs power washed there are cobwebs everywhere but i'm hanging out on the porch this morning it's a new day it's sunday because i am selling some furniture so i'm kind of just doing a swap i'm trying to come out ahead and we bought a lot of things yesterday. So I'm trying to kind of clear out and I have a couple of chairs here on the porch that um, someone's coming to look at. So that's all good news. But last night we got home and it ended up being really late. I hadn't realized how long we were actually gone. It was a couple of hours. I think we were at her house for about an hour. So it was a good time. We had fun, but by the time we got home, the kids were hungry and it was like almost their bedtime. So. We needed to just bring everything in the house, unload it and get everyone fed. And so that's what we did. Then this morning we got up and got ready for church and had such a great time. Um, the service was so great. We actually had a guest pastor um, from Texas come and speak and he was amazing. So it was such a good morning. And now, yeah, just hanging out on the porch waiting for these people to get here. My hydrangeas are gone and only because when we were in Illinois for a little over a week I didn't have anyone come and water them. When we got home they were just crisp and done for so um, those unfortunately I just kind of cut out but the ivy still looks pretty good and I've been watering that. And then in the fall, I'll probably put mums up here or do something different. Um, but I've loved having those pots up front. So anyway, the chairs are just sitting here and I'm just hanging out and waiting for them to come and take a look. Now I'm going to make this BLT pasta salad and I had to share the recipe with y'all because it's something that I've made several times already and we are absolutely loving it. So basically you wanna start out by just taking a package of bacon and baking that. I prefer to do it in the oven. It always comes out perfectly. I do it at about 425 for 15 to 18 minutes. And you also wanna boil some rotini pasta. 
After you've done that, you wanna gather all of your ingredients. I've got everything listed out here, but I'll save the recipe and link it down below for you guys so that you have all the measurements and all of that good stuff. But basically everything you see on the counter here is going to be making this creamy jalapeno ranch. I did want to note that I would definitely use basil leaves instead of the basil paste. It just tastes more fresh, but I had used all of our basil. Then you are going to take all of the other ingredients like the corn, the cherry tomatoes, cheddar cheese, the shredded lettuce, and you're going to mix that all up and then drizzle your dressing over top. And this dressing is like it's intoxicating. It is so delicious. And then take your bacon and crumble it over top, mix it in a little bit. And y'all, I promise this is the most refreshing, just delicious, perfect summer recipe. We eat this for lunch and dinner. It is great to snack on. It is just truly so yummy. So if you try it out, definitely let me know. We ended the weekend with our community group and went out for ice cream, also grabbed some dinner and just let the kids play. It was such a fun afternoon and evening and I'm just so thankful that we got plugged in with this group a little over a year ago. They've become some of our closest and very best friends and it's just such a blessing to be able to do life alongside them. this video today by just taking a quick look at the Facebook marketplace finds that we grabbed this weekend y'all I am in love this chaise is gorgeous it easily fits two adults it's just perfect for snuggling it's in perfect condition as well the previous owner said that she had literally sat on it one time and she had it up in her master and thought she would use it and she just never did. And I said, well, all the better for us because I will absolutely be using this as my little reading nook in our office space. So this is going to be my space and we are getting ready to do a makeover in here. Um, not like massive. I'm sure you can tell the rug is also new and I'll go into details in um, my upcoming video sharing this space, but I wanted to show y'all just kind of the pieces that we grabbed. So this is what we went for. It was listed at 500 and I asked her if she'd come down to 425 and she did, which was so sweet. And then also <laughs> she was getting ready to move as I told you guys and she had this desk, which I will kind of tell you my desk saga in the makeover video, but um, as you can tell, it is kind of messy in here. We um, moved our garden actually to a different location, so there's I, I need a vacuum here, but um, long story short, she actually had this desk custom made for her about three months ago. And it is solid wood. It is gorgeous, like exactly the color I wanted. It almost matches our floors to a T. And just the turned legs, I mean, this detail is just incredible. So she had this built for her for $1,300, and she sold it to us for six. And I was able to sell the other office desk that I just recently got on Marketplace uh, for the same and was able to just call it a wash. But this one is 
even better quality but what i love about it so much is that it's not as deep as the other one the other one is so deep it's more like a dining table whereas this is more like a desk you can tell that it's not nearly as deep and i love it because i can have it against this wall which we're going to be doing something too soon okay the last piece that we ended up grabbing is this gorgeous chair this chair is originally from restoration hardware and it has a couple of very small marks on it. She said she paid a little over a thousand for it and she gave me it for 250. So I just honestly, I had to do it. It's really neat. As you can tell, there's like, I need to get some scissors and clip here. Um, there's a couple of discoloration marks I'm gonna work on back there, but from a distance, you can't tell at all. And just for that price, and what I loved is just how unique it is. It's not something that I would typically go for but it's adjustable so the back actually reclines which is really cool i don't know if i can do this one-handed probably not but um it's really really neat that it reclines i don't know that i'll use it that way i to be quite honest i think i'll be spending a lot of time over here with my laptop versus sitting at the desk but we'll just see um but it's just really really unique and just something that is very cool and i was excited to bring in here so got some really great deals and just really excited about seeing this space transform so i hope that y'all enjoyed this video thanks so much for tuning in and i would love to have you join my youtube family if you are not already subscribed i will see you in the next one bye friends